So be able to let's come down onto your mat, first of all into a child's posture, just briefly. And just bring your sit bones back towards your heels. We're just going to use this posture to settle the breath a little. Equal breath in and out. All of the breath is counted in the Jeeva Bhakti practice. So if you feel like you're not traveling at the same time as my count with your own breath, then don't worry, just continue to breathe. So let's stretch the arms out and tuck over the toes and move into downward facing dog, Ad Hongukosh Vanasana. So feel free to take a little bit of movement around, especially if it's your first posture, downward facing dog of the day. And then we'll find a stillness in the posture whenever you're ready. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears, beautifully done, and breathing in. Breathing out. You can start to form an ujjayi breath if that's part of your practice. And if not, don't worry, just a continuous breath. So we'll take one more breath in the downward facing dog. And we're going to start to just tiptoe the feet up towards the back of the wrists. When you get about a hand's distance away from the back of the wrist, then stay there, feet underneath hips, nice. So lengthen the spine a little, and then forward folding down, bringing equal weight into the hands and the feet. If the hands don't easily reach the earth, you can bring either blocks or props underneath your hands. Now let the head come down nice and heavy, and really strengthening the legs, raising the tailbone up, drawing the navel in towards your spine. And staying here for one more breath. Begin now to heel toe your feet out towards the side of the mat. And then the toes will point out, sit bones down towards the earth into wide leg squat malasana. So really settling the feet down and using blocks underneath the feet if they don't equally touch down through the heels as well as the balls of the feet. Really nice. So really feel like you're lengthening up through the spine and you're lengthening up through the crown of the head and even the roof of the mouth will lift you up a little bit more. Really nice, using the elbows to widen out through the knees, breathing in, breathing out. Take one more breath here, inhale, exhale. And using the hands if you need, bring the sit bones down to the earth. Lengthen out your legs ahead of you. Just shake out the legs a little bit. Good, nice. Now I just won't know where your knees are and then draw your heels into where your knees are. Yes, beautiful. Bring the feet together side by side and squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Wrap your left hand around your shin and reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. You do the a twist. As you exhale, twist, rotate, but keep the hips facing forward. Pushing down through the feet, squeezing the legs, calves, inner thighs towards each other. Each inhale, you rise up more through the spine. And each exhale, you go deeper into the twist for three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, really nice breath in. Exhale, five. As you inhale, come to look forward, front side of the mat, and swap the grip around. Really inhale to lift and then them, and exhale, twist, rotate round towards the left side. Keep the toes down on the mat, keep the feet down on the mat. Push down equal weight through the soles of the feet and the sit bones, and feel the spine just lengthen a little bit more. Inhale, good. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale to look forward. And lengthen out your legs ahead of you. Going to move into a reverse tabletop. There's a couple of ways of coming into it. Either hands by the hips and feet to hip distance wide. And then you tuck your chin towards your chest. And then push through the heels of the hands to come up. Bending the knees, roll over the heels, onto the soles of the feet. If you feel comfortable to let the head go here, then let the head go. Alternatively, if you feel that that's a little tricky to come into, I'll just show you the other way. So stay with the knees bent and reach your hands about a ruler's distance away from you. Then the chin can come to the chest and you can push up this way. So there's always a way. Keep the hips in line with the shoulders. 
Good, really, really nice. Really starting to balance out left side, right side brain. Keep the toes down on the earth, but unscrunch the toes if you can. Keep breathing in. Breathing out for three. Nice, inhale. Exhale, four. Good, inhale. Exhale, five. Slowly bring the sit bones gracefully back down to the earth. We're going to move to a supported handstand. If it's not for you, then you can stay on the, on the mat and take a forward fold. So one way of moving into the full handstand is to place your hands five inches away from the wall. Walk into kind of a short downward facing dog, raise one leg, bend into the other knee, and kick the legs up to the wall until the heels touch it, it's supported. Good, if you're all the way up, you are squeezing the belly in, squeezing the legs side by side, really, really nice. The neck hangs down nice and long. A second way um, to take this inversion is to place your hands down so that you are in um, onto your hands and knees in an all fours position. Bring the soles of the feet onto the earth. Then begin to walk your legs up the wall. So as you walk the legs up the wall, you're walking up until the legs are parallel. The hips are directly over your shoulders and once again the neck is nice and long into a upside down L shape. So choose which one it is best for you and if it's not good for you before, then yeah, the time you're on to the end, you can come down and then just take a, a forward fold to Uttanasana. So land in your Uttanasana if you're coming down from your handstand, just give yourself a little release there. If you're on the earth, then come up to stand. So slow rolling all the way up. We're going to step up right to the top side of the mat and spread the toes nice and wide. Then just roll out the shoulders a little, moving into a chest expansion. Draw the arms around your back, interlace your fingers behind you. Really open out the front side of the chest, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your chin down towards your chest, but your spine stays in one line, really nice. And then continue to move your knuckles away from the back, good. The legs stay strong, the heart stays open, toes stay down on the earth, good. Breathing in, good. Breathing in, look at three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. As you inhale, release the hands and then draw the arms up over, but right by the ears, lift up, lift up, lift up, good. Interlace your fingers and then release your index finger. Lift up and out of your waistline. And exhale, bring your body weight over to the right side. Keep the legs super strong, nice. Inhale to reach up through center line. And exhale over to the left side. Yes, yeah, so be in staying on one side. Alternatively, if you're feeling just a little bit tight in the side body, you can bring it from side to side. Or you can take five counts on one side and five counts on the other side. Nice. So resist any temptation to roll to the outsides of the feet as you come over. And really stay with the breath, the equal breath throughout. Really nice. Good. With the fingers still interlaced, bring the hands behind your back. So placing the hands right onto the base of the skull and flaring your elbows out, coming into a spine roll. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, start to take a back bend. So it doesn't have to be too deep. Good. You can either look forward or up. Inhale. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Nice. See how you're feeling today in the spine. Inhale. And exhale, a little bit deeper still. As you inhale, rise up to standing. And exhale, bring your elbows close in by the sides of the ears and tuck your chin to your chest. Good. So it's a tiny little roll down with each and every breath. So first you're looking down towards the chest, your Jalandra Bandha is engaged, your throat lock. And then each exhale, you roll down a little bit deeper, gazing to the belly. Turn on the Uddiyama Bandha abdominal lock. As you gaze towards the pubic bone, you're turning on your ruler Bandha, your pelvic floor. Really engage the front side thighs as you see the front of the legs, and then you're gazing towards the knees. 
Good. Bending your knees. So bend your knees and bring your third eye to touch. Yeah, tiny little ball. Squeeze the belly in. Really nice. On your next inhale, look up and flare your elbows out to the side. Draw the spine back. Beautiful. Exhale here. Inhale, rising all the way up to standing. And exhale, the deepest back bend that you have so far in this practice. We open out the heart centre. Inhale, rising up to stand. Exhale, release your arms down by the side body. Feel your feet on the earth and bring your hands into prayer at heart centre. Close your eyes. And set a strong, positive intention for your practice. The intention will determine the outcome. And then blink your eyes open and have a great class spiritual warriors. We're going to begin with three rounds of sun salutation A. So inhale to raise your arms all the way up to Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale as you forward fold, framing your feet, hands to the earth. Inhale to lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale to step or float your feet. And lower down through Chaturanga, Dandasana, nice and strong in the body, beautiful. Inhale to roll over the feet, open the heart, find your upward facing dog. Exhale back over the toes and find your downward facing dog. Good. So if you feel again like you need to make any little adjustments, then do. Do. Be somewhere where you can breathe and you can really feel the posture. Good, really nice. Breathing in. Strengthening the legs and breathing out for three. Nice breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Bringing about a little bit of action with every single breath. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to bend your knees and look forward between hands. Inhale, stepping or floating, take a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward folding, head to shin, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise right up, 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 arms with the ears, see the thumbnails. Straight back down to second round, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant palms, step or float, down through Shakhtananda, really nice, arms close. Inhale, strong legs as you open up the heart centre. Exhale back into Ad Hongu Svanasana. Spread the toes as wide as the fingers. Exhale, keep the belly strong. So all the bandas, we turned on the main bandas, the root knots in the body. See if you can find them again in each and every posture. Breathing in. Breathing out for three. Inhale, if you begin to bring your gaze towards your knees or front side legs or even the navel. Exhale, four. Good. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend knees, look forward. Inhale, stepping or floating, halfway lift. Exhale, down, forward folding. Inhale, rise up, up, up. See the nails of our staff. Exhale, forward folding down, third round. Inhale as you lengthen the spine, keep the shoulder blades together. Exhale, step or float down through Shataranga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, at home, Mukhaj Breathe. Where are you with the breath? Is it still a steady, continuous flood? Exhale. Good. Inhaling. Belly nice and strong, pelvic floor turned on. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, really nice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to bend your knees up forward. Inhale, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale up to Urdhva Hastasana, drop the shoulders as you see the thumbnails. Exhale, release your arms down by side, just right there, just roll out your shoulders a little. Jiva Mukti Surya Namaskar. As you inhale, reach forward and hook your thumbs, lift up and lengthen and arch your spine. Keep the arms by the ears as you sweep arms over through bent knees. 
knees and interlace your hands behind your back and then extend both arms and legs. Good, nice. Place your hands down onto the earth and step your right foot back into a long lunge on the mat. Exhale, step back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, come forward into a plank position and there's no rush to lower down, give it a breath down through Shatalanga Dandasana. Inhale to push the floor away, open the heart centre, upward facing dog. Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, once again, come forward into a plank position. And as you exhale, lower your knees, chest and chin to the earth, keep arms close, nice. Inhale to scoot forward onto the belly tops of the feet, take low cobra. Exhale as you tuck your toes, bring your sit bones back towards your heels and lengthen into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, step your right foot forward, try not to swing it. Exhale, step the left foot forward to the right and forward fold, Tanasana. As you bend your knees, hook forward, hook thumbs, reach forward, lift up, lengthen, straighten legs and then arch the spine, beautiful. Exhale, exactly the same for the left side, sweep arms over, interlace and extend both arms and legs, nice. Hands down onto the earth, step the left foot back into a long lunge, yes, push the heel away. Exhale, step back into a down facing dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower, shut down, and keep the belly nice and strong. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward into your plank. Exhale, release your knees, your chest, your chin down to the earth. Softly, yes. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Exhale as you tuck your toes, draw your sit bones back to your heels, and lengthen your legs to add on Mukha Stay with the breath, inhale, step your left foot forward into a long lunge. Exhale, step the feet together, lengthen, yes, forward fold, nice. Bending the knees, reach forward, hook the thumbs, lift up, straighten your legs and then arch the spine, straight into second round, all the way over for second set, right side, good, nice. Hands down onto the earth, right foot steps back, really lengthen the leg, yes. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Exhale, lower, 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 shut the Inhale, to upward facing, you're doing a great job, B.A. And exhale, come back into your downward facing dog, nice. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, bhujangasana, strong legs. Exhale, tuck toes, draw sit bones back to heels and lengthen the legs. Directly back if you can to downward facing, nice. Step in gracefully, right foot forward between your hands. Exhale, left foot meets right, straighten legs, forward fold. Bending your knees, reach forward, lift up, lengthen your legs and arch the spine. Exhale, sweep arms over through bent knees for the left side, nice. Hands come down to the earth, step the left foot back. Exhale, step back, out on Mukhoshwanathana, tailbone nice and high. Inhale, come forward, and exhale, lower down to Shakaranga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing up. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down to the Inhale, low forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, draw sit bones back to heels and lengthen. Add on the torch Inhale, step the left foot forward between the hands and up. Exhale, step the right foot to the left and up. Bend your knees, reach forward, all the way forward as far as you can. Lift up, lengthen and arch the spine. Exhale, release arms down by side. Just shake out the shoulders a little, really nicely done. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Right, here we go. Hopefully you're in the warm-up. Chair. And then you catch your breath. <laughs> Bending your knees, just touch the fingertips on the earth first and then rise up to gazing towards the thumbnail. So it doesn't matter if the hands aren't meeting, just have the hands parallel to each other. Good. Now, draw the belly in, draw the weight back into the tailbone. Now soften your shoulders for two. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, three. Release your hands to the floor, still with your knees bent. Nice. Now straighten your legs. 
and take a halfway lift, arm up into an asana. With the palms on the earth, step or float back and come down through Shakta Nanda Dandrasana. Take a little bend in the elbows, yes. Inhale to rise to upward facing dog, yes, nice. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. We're moving to warrior one. Inhale to step your right foot forward between your hands and exhale, ground the back foot. Inhale, yes, hands to prayer, prayer to sky. Keep the back foot really nicely grounded down on the earth and resist temptation to move into the arch of the back foot. The gaze is up towards the thumbnails, even if it's just with the eyes. You can always go a little bit deeper in the front knee than you think you can. Good. Back leg is super strong. Breathe in. Virabhadrasana one. Breathing out. Yes. So breathing in, really lengthening both sides of the torso, maybe just visualising, bringing the left side of the torso forward a little bit more. Breathing in, yes. Breathing out for three. Inhale, really push the palms together, strengthen the arms and exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, open out hips, heart, heels. Maybe step the back foot away, give yourself a little bit more room in preparation for a warrior two. And then sink down into a warrior two just for one breath. Inhale, lengthening your front leg, moving to Utita Trikonasana Triangle. And reach all the way forward towards front side of the mat. As you exhale, bring your hand down, can be on. You can be reaching for the toe, you can be touching the shin. Don't worry about the depth. It's more important to keep the length in both sides of the torso. Good. So soften the top shoulder a little bit and just draw it back a little bit in space. Nice. Both legs super strong. Squeezing your inner thighs towards each other without moving your heels. Lengthening the neck to look up towards the top hand. Find that equal length, length in both sides of the torso and then just check, is the breath still equal? Good. Inhale. Exhale for three. Stacking two shoulders, one on top of the other. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Just look down towards the big toe at the front. Bending your front knee reverse out through a strong warrior two. Rear adjustment two. Maybe just adjust the shoulders a little bit. Yes. Have them directly over your hips. The front knee is tracking the second and third toe. The gaze can be to the side or the gaze can be forward past the front fingers. Draw the belly in, draw the tailbone down, soften the shoulders. And again, you can always go a little bit deeper. And yes, really nice. Breathe in. Breathing out. One straight line from wrist to wrist, a little smile on the face. Says it all. Inhale. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Belly super strong. Exhale, five. So moving into Utita Parashvakanasana. Straighten the leg just momentarily. And then re-bend the front knee and bring your hand down to the outside of the front foot. So if you find it more difficult to reach down to the earth, then you can place a block underneath this front hand. So really lengthen the top arm over the top ear. Good. And then begin to bring the gaze towards your palm, which is facing down. Once again, just lengthen the neck. And if the, if the gaze is just up with the eyes, let that be what it is. Check in on your back foot and make sure that you're not holding on to the inside of the foot. Breathing in. Breathing out. You can use the front arm against the knee and vice versa to just get that extra little rotation. Spinning the heart and chest. Really nice adjustment. Spinning the heart and chest just a little bit more skyward. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, good. Exhale, five. Now bring that top hand down so that you're framing your front foot. As you lengthen your front leg, just lift the back leg off the earth and step it in just enough to square off your hips. So have a little wiggle of the hips and see where they are. Nice. 
So rising to the fingertips, take a halfway lift here and really lengthen the spine. And keeping that length in the spine, bring your chin down towards your shin. Gaze is moving towards the big toe. So you're drawing back with your right hip crease and drawing forward with the left. Each breath again, find it just a little bit more length or depth with each and every breath. Keep the feet completely grounded on the earth and squeezing your inner thighs towards each other as you breathe in. So aiming not to rest the torso on the thigh. Really draw the belly in. Good. Exhale nice. Lengthen out the back of the neck. Yes. Inhale. Exhale, Pashmatanasana. Inhale, one more breath here. Exhale, five. As you inhale, just look forward. Exhale, bend both knees, bring the back knee down to the earth and on the top of the foot. Place your hands first in onto the thigh and lengthen your spine all the way up. And then really reach all the way up with the left arm, finding length and space in the body. As you exhale, twist, rotate round to the right side, bring outer arm to outer thigh. Bring your hands into prayer at heart centre and really squeezing the palms together. You can stay here or bring your gaze down towards your front toe to find your balance and then tuck the back toe and extend the back heel away. Good. Then bring the gaze back up and over the top shoulder. The back leg is super strong. You're expanding the back of the knee up towards the sky. The torso is moving away from the thigh. Breathing in. Breathing out. Stay with it. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Finding that length. Finding that twist. Exhale, five. You can either take the fancy way and extend the back leg as your inner twist, or you can place your hand down onto the earth for support. Lengthen the back leg, bring it off the earth, and then tuck the back knee to the outside of your front foot, and you're all the way down into your Ardhamatsyandrasana. So really settle that front foot, sole the foot on the earth, settle the sit bones down. Lifting and lengthening all the way up through the spine. And exhale, twisting round. So yes, finding that equal, equal seating on the earth between the sit bones and the front foot. Lengthening the spine. Exhale. Inhale, really nice job. Exhale. Good. And really make that effort in the twist. Try not to hang out in the twist just because you've finally got your sit bones on the ground. <laughs> exhale. Good. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, derotate round, just round to the opposite side, just a gentle counter rotation. And then extend your left leg out long ahead of you and interlace your fingers under the sole of the right foot, bending the knee. So flex the left toes in towards you. Good. And then draw your knee in towards the underarm. We're just going to open out the hip. So as you draw the knee in towards your underarm, we're just going to rotate out your hip, but keep on drawing the heart centre forward. Whenever you're ready, bring the leg ahead of the chest. We're coming in to rock the baby, but you can also support underneath the leg if that suits. Just go where is right for you. Just take a little opening out and then place the leg down into a figure of four on the extended leg. If it feels good for you, you can bring the bottom leg under to stack your two shins, one on top of the other. If this knee, this top knee is floating, then please support it with something. <laughs> so Fie, take a, um, just take a cross leg position because it's, it's equally, a lot of people find their file up really difficult to come into, so it's good to show that. So we're coming either with the two shins stacked or a cross leg position. If your two shins are stacked, then your both feet are flexed. Place your hands behind your back and bend in your spine. With a strong belly, you're leading with your heart and the chest. So keep that length in the neck. You can bring your hands ahead of you. And you can turn your palms to face up. You're softening your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. 
inhale, exhale, five, nice. So as you begin to walk your hands in towards you and lengthen the spine up, we're coming into low lasana. So unwind your legs and then we cross your legs for your right shin over your left. Yes. Now, pushing the feet towards the ankles towards each other. Yes. Lift the sit bones off the earth. You can use two blocks if you need. And swing your legs underneath the body. Or take the other way out. <laughs> Bend both knees and bring the back knee down onto the earth and flatten the back. 
foot, yes. Moving through to lengthen the spine. Lift and lengthen through the right arm. Keep that space as you rotate all the way from the navel until the outer arm is on the outer thigh. Then the hands move to prayer. Begin to move the prayer into the heart centre, get that extra rotation. If you're going to extend the back leg, then look down towards the front foot to find your balance first. Or stay on the back knee, yes, then gaze and it comes back up, nice. So breathing in. Breathing out, expanding the back of the back knee up towards the sky. Bringing two shoulders to stack one on top of the other. Inhale, exhale, three, stay with it, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. So either looking down or placing the fingertips down, float the back leg, bring the back knee to the outside of your front foot and gracefully your sit bones very gracefully done down to the earth. Find a seat, find a seat, so really find that connection where you're connected to the earth. Really feel the earth underneath you, lifting and lengthening the spine and exhale, twisting, turning. They get the twist comes all the way from the navel. Keep the connection of the front foot down on the earth and the two sit bones. Inhale, feel again that lifting through the crown of the head and the roof of the mouth and just feel yourself grow even taller. Yes, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale as you bring your gaze forward, release the hands. Lengthen out the leg on the bottom, so lengthen out your right leg ahead of you and flex your foot. Interlace your fingers underneath the sole of the left foot, so just do what you need to find that little bit of movement. And we're going to already bring in the leg ahead of the chest, so it could be the crooks of the elbows or supporting underneath. Good. Just gently move the hips from side to side, keep the heart centre open. Yes. Place the leg down into a figure of four on the extended leg. And then just give it a go at this side, see what happens. Maybe you tuck the leg in, maybe you find it easier on this side, maybe not. You can, you have an option to keep the bottom leg extended or an option to come into a cross leg position. All the two shins, yeah, try it that way, try it that way, let's see. Breathing in. And breathe in. Good. So soften the shoulders. Really feel like you're kind of looking up a little. And then with a nice straight spine coming down, the belly's nice and strong. That's it, nice. Breathe in. Good. Breathe in. Out. Now relax your jaw. Just try to check in what's the jaw doing. Yes. Let it go. Inhale. Breath. 
Yes. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. As you inhale, begin to rise back up to seated out of the posture. And here's your two hands to have another go at Lolasana. Bring the left shin on top of the right shin this time. So crossing just above the ankle. Really push both legs in towards each other. Good. Squeeze the belly and squeeze the knees to the chest. Yes. Come up. Yes. Any which way. Any which way. Swing the legs underneath your body. Down 
hands for that, and now you can bring the feet down. Good. Take a deep belly breath in. Feel the belly expand. Exhale. We're going to turn onto our backs for upper facing wheel. So reach your right hand ahead of you. Roll over your right side until you roll all the way onto the back. So as you come onto the back, you're going to step the feet towards the sit bone. You should just about be able to touch uh, the backs of your heels. Yeah, really settle the spine down. Nice. We're going to move through a bridge to begin. So feet and knees get distance wide and then start to push through the soles of the feet to bring the sit bones off the earth. Good. Really draw the knees away. You can interlace your fingers underneath the back here or you can move into, or we even take a bridge for the first one. We take three rounds of the upward facing wheel. So if you take a bridge for the first one, if you're ready to come all the way up into your upward facing wheel first, then I will just show you. You bring your hands either side of the ears and the fingers face towards your shoulders. Peel the pelvis off the earth first, really squeeze the elbows close side by side. And then coming all the way up into your Urdhva Dhanya. Coming down, you tuck the chin to the chest and come all the way down. Nice. So if you've taken a bridge for the first one and you're deciding to move into an upward facing wheel for the second one, don't think about it too long. You might put yourself off. Put your hands next to the ears. Yes. And push the floor away. Good. Now bring the feet parallel. Really expand, opening up the front side body. Opening out through the underarms, good. Strong arms and strong legs, heart is open. Inhale, exhale, three. Bring all of your energy into it, give it everything you've got as you exhale, four. Continuous action alongside the breath, inhale. And exhale, five. Draw your chin towards your chest to safely come down. You're going to roll the spine down, bone by bone, good, down to the earth, okay. And then moving into the third set. So just one breath and then we're straight away into the third set. Pushing all the way up, good, make those little adjustments that you need. Really find the length and uh, all the way across the front side body, good. Opening out, yes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, nice strong legs. Remember the spine moves best, so don't move into somewhere where you feel like it's not quite right. Make the adjustments that you need. Inhale, exhale, chin towards the chest and we're going to come down. One bone at a time meets the mat, the mat. Set the feet out, tailbone comes down, land. Just uh, draw the feet to the, the outside edges of the mat. Let the knees fall together. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just notice a couple of breaths traveling in. And And then begin to draw your knees in towards your chest. Draw your arms around your legs and give yourself a nice big squeeze. Whatever you need to, maybe a little rock from side to side. So we're going to move into a supine twist with eagle legs. So raise your legs all the way up towards the sky. And then cross your right leg over your left leg, a little bend in your knee. Pick up your hips and hunch them over to the right side. As you exhale, drop your knees to the left side, draw the arms out nice and long. You can bring the palms to face up, yes, and rounding the shoulder down on the earth. So you want to keep the length of the spine here in two hips stacked one on top of each other. Remember to breathe a deep, deep breath. So really finding that massaging of your internal organs with a twist alongside the breath. Only three breaths here, so make all of them count. Inhale, exhale, three. Good. As you inhale, look up and raise the legs up 
and then unwind the legs, give them a little bit of a shake, and sort of put both softly over to the other side. Good. Cross left over right, push the hips over to the right side, yes. And then knees down towards the left side. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale to look up and draw the knees up towards the sky. Unwind your legs and draw your knees in towards your chest. Just to align the spine a little on the, on the mat. Good. We're going to take the rock and roll up. So a couple of rocks to come all the way up to seated. And once you arrive in seated, extend your legs out ahead of you. Good. Excellent. Flex your feet in towards you. Yes. Moving to Janu Shushasana. So draw the right knee in towards your chest and then allow the knee to fall over to the side. Yeah. Bring the heel close to the pubic bone. Yeah. If, if you want to cross over, then yeah, that's, that's good. Otherwise, we can just bring the knee, uh, the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Flexing uh, the left foot up towards you. Inhale to reach all the way up the little quarter turn. And then exhale, coming down towards the extended leg. Really nice, breathing in. So you can bring your hands um, up to, to the sole of the foot. Yes, good. So really kind of let the spine look up, draw the belly in, and exhale. You're gazing towards your toes in this one. So you're lengthening the back of the neck, even if you're looking with the eyes. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Inhale. Really find that expansion of the back of the knee down onto the earth. Good. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, rise all the way up to seated. Draw the knee back towards the sky. Extend the leg and then just swap it over. So bringing your left knee in towards the chest, drop it all the way in. Let the knee fall open, or if you want to take a different, you know, a different version, that's fine. You know, take a different version. That feels good. So reach all the way up, yes, and then exhale, quarter turn and folding down. So that is remaining nice and strong. You're lengthening the spine, and exhale to go deeper. Good. Inhale. Exhale. If you're not, you might want to just 
place a, a cushion underneath your head or if you're far enough down to build some blocks just with your fists and do it so that you can loosen the neck. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. your shoulders there. Yes, really let it go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, each and every time we move on to the mat, it's an opportunity to find out something new. Maybe today is something different. A little bit different version of the hands might feel good for you. Yes. And then when you're ready, you're going to roll the spine all the way back up. You might want to just check behind you, you've got enough room on your mat to bring your legs up and over behind your head. And then we're going to take a lie down, we're going to move into Salamba Savangasana. Supported shoulder stand. Good. So bring your knees in towards your third eye. Support the spine. Draw the elbows a little bit closer towards each other. Yes. Good. And then begin to lengthen the legs up towards the sky. Good. Stacking your ankles over your knees, your knees over your hips, and your hips over your shoulders. So in this posture, it's a little bit more difficult to breathe, but we still stay with the ujjayi breath. It may be that this posture is not for you today, or maybe there's something going on with the shoulders. Whatever you do, no looking around in the posture. So if you need to check, and then move into the posture, then that, that's the way it will be. Um, another alternative is to bring the legs up to the sky into deeper Vipa, Vipa You can raise your legs up, or you can rest your legs on the wall. So there's always somewhere to go. Otherwise, you're squeezing the belly in. Good. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Squeezing the pelvic floor. Breath is continuous, more slim breath of the throat. Jalandalabanda is engaged, the throat lock. Udiyalabanda is engaged, abdominal lock. And just turning everything upside down, just for part of our day, helps to change our perspective. See things from a different angle and learning to adapt to change. Okay, it's really nice. We'll move into Halasana Plow. So flex your feet towards your head and then start to bring the feet down towards the earth. The toes may touch the earth. If they don't touch the earth, no worries, just keep supporting the back of the spine. If they do touch the earth, super extend your legs and then we'll bring your hands down onto the earth. So it could be here that you interlace your fingers behind your back. Good. And then bring the baby fingers down onto the earth. Or it may be that you're bending your elbows and bringing the elbows down onto the earth. Do what feels good for you. Good. So keep expanding the backs of the legs, keep extending your heels away, getting even more tricky to keep the breath going, but you just continue with the same breath right from the beginning of the practice to the end of the practice. Equal breath, in and out, same intensity and duration. Good. One more breath here. Or stay in your cloud of previous posture if you try this and think, no, it's not today. But give it a go, see. Each day, different things. Good. And then release your hands and use your palms onto the earth. And start to roll out one bone at a time to come all the way down. Good. Once your uh, hips touch the earth, then you immediately just place your feet down and then lengthen your legs out. Good. Coming into Matsyasana, long fish. So, um, pointing the toes away, squeezing your inner thighs, use your elbows close by the ribs. Use the weight in the elbows to open up the heart center. Good. Bringing the crown of the head down towards the earth, or 
Yes, really nice. So just really opening out, opening out. Legs stay strong. Strong legs will help the spine to release even more. So the more the legs are engaged, the more the spine will open. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Just open the heart like a crest of the wave. Just one more VA. Go for it. And then exhale, chin towards the chest to come all the way down. Good. One breath. We're going to move into a child's seat in preparation for our Shashasana headstand. So, with your headstand, yes, so come into a child's first PA and just take a breath here. I'm going to send eye onto the earth. With your headstand, you might be at a different, everyone's at a different stage with the headstand, so walk your hands now ahead of you. And uh, interlace your fingers. Bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Good. And then just come on to your knees. Yes. Reposition yourself so that you're onto your knees. Good. I find it helps to sort of draw kind of a little um, cat posture in it here to find a space between the shoulder blades. And then you kind of feel where you need your strength between. Yes, really nice. Good. Now come onto your toes. So as you come onto your toes and extend your legs uh, into a kind of short downward facing dog. Good. And the crown of the head down, down onto the earth. But the weight stays in your forearms and your elbows. Nice. Tiptoe your feet up until you have your hips over your shoulders. And then you can start to bring in one knee at a time in towards your chest. So at any stage here, if you feel like that's enough for you, then that is where you stay. Good. And then whenever you're ready, you're raising the legs up towards the sky. Good. Now stay with that same strength in the shoulder girdle. Mm -hmm. Nice adjustment. The belly in. Exactly the same as in your shoulder stand. Switch on. Uriyana Bandha. Mula Bandha. And the breath is continuous. And when you're ready, come down safely, back down, and you can relax. Take a breath in the child's seat. Pull the arms down by the side, allow the shoulders to soften, and down to the earth. And then, so you are in that seated for a comfortable position. So find a comfortable position on the mat. Something comfortable for you with the spine aligned. Soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Once you've chosen your seat, be still, still in the mind, as well as in the physical body. Okay. As you breathe in, say to yourself, left. As you breathe out, say to yourself, And then bringing your hands together, pray out heart centre. And take a deep inhale, we're going to finish with
Namaste, take a lie down for your Shabbat. And thank you so much for your excellent job. <laughs>